Being able to confidently lead project status calls as a project manager is going to be the difference between being a mediocre project manager and a stellar one. So how do you lead project status calls with confidence? Before we get started, my name is Alexis. I have over 10 years experience in project management and agile delivery. So that means I've done a lot of project status calls. And what I've learned over the years in my experience is that how confident I feel in leading those calls really comes down to how confident I feel in the project plan that I've put together with my team. And so I'll make another video where I go into detail about creating a robust project plan, but assuming that you have a project plan that you feel confident in, then what you need to do from there is assess what your current state looks like against what you forecasted. So with that, in most project status reports, what you're going to see is going to be things around the schedule, the scope, the budget, risks and issues, as well as dependencies. And so these are going to be the factors that you want to talk about to provide the status or the health of a given project. And so what this looks like is before having a project status call, I will usually have a call internally with my team. And the reason I do this is because I want to be able to snuff out if there's any issues before going into the status call. I don't want to get on the status call. And if my team is there, then start having the conversation about a risk or issue. That should be something I know about before I go into the status call so that if there is an issue, like for instance, we are off track from our schedule, then I will be have been able to have enough time to assess what that means if it's affecting other things on our schedule and also what the strategy is going to be to get us back on track or to resolve for that issue, whether it's adding time to our schedule or just whatever the case may be in terms of responding to that. And so another tip that I use, especially when I'm in remote settings and if I've just started with an organization and so I'm still getting my footing in terms of the project that I'm working on is I'll write scripts for myself. So I will have an agenda, that's something else, make sure you have an agenda, but in addition to that, I will have a script that I've written for myself of the key points that I wanna make sure I hit as a part of the status report. Your project status report should have information in it, but you don't wanna overwhelm your audience with too much information. So this is where I use bullet points in the status report, and then for myself, I'll have my own notes that I'm going to use in order to illustrate what is happening as a part of the project. 